Kelly and welcome back to our channel. For today's video, we're doing a updated what's in my diaper bag. I feel like I recently did one of these probably during Vlogmas, but um, my husband actually got me a different diaper bag for Christmas, so I have a new one. And also, um, my son is now eight months old and is eating, so there's a lot more things for solids in here. But this is my diaper bag, very, very cheetah print. It is the Itsy Ritzy cheetah print diaper bag. Don't really know anything other than the brand name and then a shoe print. So, yeah, I know he got it off Amazon, so definitely easy to find. Um, I used to have the Miss Fong diaper bag. I mean, I still do have that one. But this one, this is comfortable. This has, like, very supportive, like, straps. It's more of, like, an actual backpack than like a fashionable backpack i mean it's cheetah print so it's still fashionable but this thing is so comfortable i swear when this thing's on my back like i forget that it's there and i have to like be told like are you gonna take your diaper bag off so yeah i definitely recommend these diaper bags um they are expensive but i think they're worth it and then also it comes with these straps for your stroller i don't do this but i do have this little attachment for finn's um height not high chair car seat um it's like one of those things that clicks their diaper or their car seat off i don't know why i keep saying diaper bag um but i just have this clipped onto my diaper bag um i recently started doing my nails so they're a little bit longer these ones are short because i didn't feel like having long nails but um this thing is a godsend and i also know that a lot of people use these once their kids are like knowledgeable of like how to take their like car seat straps off so they use these and then they're like you can't take it off without this so i don't know maybe i'll do that one day but yeah so i'm gonna start with these side pockets um on this side there's nothing and then on the other side there is a tissues and there's more tissues and hand sanitizer these are the hand sanitizer antibacterial hand sprays from bath and body works um i just like can't like spray hand sanitizer a little bit more especially when i'm like changing a diaper or anything because i don't have to like rub it in really i just like spray it rub it a little bit and i'm good to go and then this front thing there's like a pouch and then there's a zipper there's nothing in the pouch so there's just these, these straps and then in the zipper um this is my mom pouch but then it also has like this keychain that like you can put your keys on it and it has like a little spring but I just have the poop diaper holders and then I have lens wipes for my glasses and I have these Camila teething things. Um, we recently started using them because my son is starting to teeth and I really, really like them. I think that it's um, a little bit better for them than using Tylenol all the time. I mean, we still definitely use Tylenol, but... Um, it's like a natural cheating thing. Also, my dog just started barking, so I don't know if you can hear that, but I'm sorry if you can. Then I have this little bag from the Dollar Tree, and I just have a little bit of makeup in it. I have a CoverGirl 3-in-1 mascara. Um, this is my favorite CoverGirl lips. I have it on my lip. It's 960. It's like their 24-7 um, thing. I have an eyelash curler for the mascara, and I have a chapstick. Just in case do i ever use this no but it's there and then this is a pouch um if i am using just like a, like a wallet i'd put it in here but i always have my purse so yeah and then the my favorite thing about this diaper bag is that it opens completely it it is good i'm gonna do the things that are in the center so i first have some wipes we use the kirkland brand wipes and then I have um, some extra diapers, but I'm going to put these in the actual pouch. I just keep forgetting to do it. Well, I guess first, I have these pouches that are by the Itsy Ritsy brand. These are a godsend. Um, the diaper bag is really kind of hard to keep organized, but with these, it's so much nicer because I just have all of the diapers in here. Um, we use the Up and Up overnight diapers 24-7, so... Yeah, because my son's a very heavy peer, so it makes it easier to not have to change him for, like, the tiniest bit of pee. Because he pees a lot for, like, every time he pees. Um, but, yeah, we use these, and then, like, I could put these in there, but we use wipes for everything. And then I have two other small ones. 
The one negative about these are that they are expensive. Like these pouches are expensive. Um, the three pack was 20 bucks. Like that's a lot. So this small one, um, we have food items in it. So we have a bib. Um, it's one of these bibs. I don't really feel like opening it. Um, my mom got us these, um, this eating set that has like these bibs that like fold and they have like a little clip and they're really nice. And then a spoon from that. And then we really like these, um, I think they're by Boone. Um, they have like these holes and you can put food in it and it's really good for giving like fruit and just things that like can help him teeth. Um, we learned that with baby lead weaning, he like needs a spoon or something to chew. Like he doesn't know how to chew if he doesn't have like a utensil in his mouth. So he started doing that at the beginning and then now he knows how to chew. I mean, he doesn't have any teeth, so that thing also helps him. And then this one, I have changes of clothes. Um, I'll show you what I have in here. Well, first I have a extra burp cloth and then we have this Nike outfit for my mom. We just have a onesie and a pair of socks. I'm not gonna show you all those things, but um, this is amazing because I can put this at the bottom and then I put um, this thing next to it and then the other thing is like the same size. So I just stack it on top. But now I'm gonna do the surrounding. Um, I guess I can show you the inside better. So this is where we keep bottles. Um, they're like insulated. And then there's two back ones. Um, and then a back back one and then this whole wall has like a ton of zippers so i'm gonna start with like surrounding back here and that like back pouch so on the sides again we don't have anything because that's where we keep those bottles when we go out there's nothing in that one there's nothing in those pockets okay <laughs> um, the last thing we have in the back is this pad um this is from target somebody got it for us for a or our baby shower and um, we haven't yet to use it, but um, like if we go to a restaurant or something, we can put that down on like the high chair so that way he can eat or the table, you know? And then the back, or, like the wall, um, he is eating solids again. So we have these rice runks um, thingies. This is a little pouch for his car seat cover, which um, he's now in his big boy seat, so he's not using a car seat cover anymore. We do use it sometimes on the car. Do I remember all the time? No. And then I have another one of these um, teething medicine things. Um, they're just really good. And he also loves the way they taste. Um, we realize that he's not very good at taking Tylenol anymore. We only give it to him at night now because at night's when he has like worse teething so we like to like get ahead of it and then the last pouch we have a nose frida we do not use this thing um this is definitely something i regret buying i actually just filmed a product i regret buying and didn't mention this but i never used that and then um i don't really know why we have this in here because we don't use this this is the board x butt paste we've used it once but it's not like the brand we use at home and then we have a travel bumbo last couple things we have we have like lubrication jelly i don't really know why but we do and then we have infant gas relief drops and then we have a little thermometer but that is everything that we always have in our diaper bag when we do go out we bring this sound machine which is the dream egg sound machine he also uses it at night um so that's not always in here and we also throw a ton of toys in here now because he is a lot more active and he really likes toys so i just throw them in here um i always pick a random one so i don't want to like keep toys in there i really love this diaper bag it still has like a lot of pouches and a lot of room for a ton of different things um i feel like this diaper bag is very much so more for the mother uh, because there's a lot of like outside pouches um, for like anything that the mom can use or the parent can use, you know what I mean? And um, I think it's great. I think that this will definitely be a good um, like diaper bag if you have more than one kid. I only have one, so. But yeah, I really, really like this diaper bag. I would recommend it a lot. I'll link it down below if I can find it on Amazon. And yeah. But I hope you guys enjoyed what I keep in my diaper bag. And I will see you guys next time. Bye, guys.